a sphere, a cylinder and a cone are of same radius and same height. Okay, first let us draw three uh, diagrams. Sphere. Okay, sphere, a cylinder and a cone. Alright. Are of same radius and same height. Okay. Suppose this is R, this is also R and this is also R. Same radius. And the height is also same. Height is same here. Height is same and the height. What is the height of this sphere now? See, this is R, right? Radius of the sphere and this is R. So what will be the height of this sphere? It will be 2R. R plus R, 2R. Okay. So height here will also be 2R and height here will also be 2R, isn't it? So we have three such solids uh, uh, shapes. All right. So H is equal to 2R in this case. Here also height is 2R. Here also height is 2R. Okay. Find the ratio of their curved surface areas. Okay. We need to find curved surface area of this, this and this and then divide it, isn't it? So curved surface area of sphere first so it is 4 pi r square right okay hmm. now what is curved surface area of cylinder it is 2 pi r h isn't it 2 pi r h so 2 pi r but r value h value is equal to how much 2 r again so we have substituted 2 r in place of h so this will give us see 2 to the 4 4 pi r square okay now let us find curved surface area of cone. Curved surface area of cone is equal to how much? Pi R L. Okay. But we have to find the value of L because L is not given here, right? So if this is L, see, this is a right angle triangle, isn't it? This is H, this is R, this is L. How should we find L now? Using Pythagoras theorem, L will be equal to H square plus R square hypotenuse square see hypotenuse square will be equal to this h square plus r square so square goes on the other side l will become root h square plus r square so let us find the value of l now h is equal to how much 2r so this is 2r whole square plus r square so this will give us see square is for 2 square is for r isn't it so this is 4 pi r square plus r square so now this is l is equal to 5r square okay or root 5 and r root 5 is root 5 root r square is r so length or slant slant height is equal to root 5 r so let us substitute it here pi r into root 5 r will come here so this will give us pi r square root 5 r into r r square pi and root 5 here okay we have found csa of sphere csa of cylinder csa of cone we need to find the ratios of this curved surface areas, right? So, CSA of sphere is to CSA of cylinder is to CSA of cone will give us 4 pi r square is to 4 pi r square is to root 5 pi r square, okay? See, we are dividing three quantities here. So, the numbers which are common in three quantities should be cancelled. Don't cancel out 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square here. Because we don't have 4 pi r square here. We can cancel out pi, pi and pi. Because this pi is in first, second, third, three terms, right? r square, r square, r square also. Now, this is 4 is to 4 is to root 5. Okay. So 4 is to 4 is to root 5 is the answer now. A sphere, cylinder and a cone are of same radius and same height. Find the ratio of their curved surface areas. So their curved surface areas ratios is 4 is to 4 is to root 5. 